Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-3676. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures SCP-3676's containment is currently contested between the Foundation and Group of Interest 466, Wilson's Wildlife Solutions. As per the Boring Agreement, all related correspondence is to be directed through WWS liaison Kim Madison, the designated head of the project. Chamber 3676 Alpha is to be used to contain the entity as often as feasible, and monitoring of its extra-universal passage is paramount. Fourth Scratch and Equalizers are to be used to negate SCP-3676's effects wherever possible. These containment procedures were stricken from the document. Updated containment procedures as follows. SCP-3676 is currently uncontained. As and when it remanifests, Mobile Task Force Upsilon Pioro, slings and arrows, is to track and sedate the entity before transferring it to containment chamber 3676 beta. Full specifications for said chamber are available in the attached supplementary documentation. Description SCP-3676 is an abnormally large specimen of Harpathe hediniana, or cyanide millipede, estimated to be at least 1.5 kilometers in length and around 5 meters in diameter. Detailed analysis of SCP-3676's biology has not been possible due to its size and anomalous effects, but preliminary analysis suggests it functions on an internal body plan closer to that of most vertebrates than non-anomalous millipedes. It should be noted that, despite this, it is a genetic match with Harpathe hediniana, an externally identical, excepting the additional body segments. Aside from its exaggerated size, SCP-3676's primary anomalous property occurs whenever it attempts to burrow or otherwise move quickly between locations. When such an event occurs, SCP-3676 will sporadically generate Class E, momentary lapse of reason, wormholes between baseline reality and a related branch universe, and almost invariably pass through into said universe. These wormholes are two-dimensional, largely imperceptible and temporarily stable following creation, existing for between 42 minutes and 3 months, with a mean duration of 2 weeks. In addition to this, their generation is hypothesized to be restricted to NX-17, the Asphoto class nexus localized in the town of Boring, Oregon, and the surrounding area. But this is unconfirmed as SCP-3676 has yet to leave the area. The effect is purely physical in nature, and SCP-3676 does not possess any additional temporal, metaphysical, or probabilistic effects related to alternate timelines or casual progression. SCP-3676 was initially catalogued on 12.06.2015 as part of a joint investigation by Research Task Force Siegel-9, Oregon Trailblazers, Mobile Task Force Beta-4, Castaways, and a team of staff from Wilson's Wildlife Solutions. While successful in identifying the creature and mitigating immediate damage to the area, disputes arose regarding which organization should take control of the anomaly. As per the Boring Agreement, Wilson's Wildlife Solutions had area priority, while Foundation staff maintained, and continued to maintain, that SCP-3676 posed a sufficient threat to human life to warrant high-level containment by the Foundation's Department of Extra-Universal Affairs. The following is a record of all major events relating to SCP-3676's containment. Date, 1206, 2015. Nature of event, initial contact established. Two personnel lost in an unknown branch universe after falling through a tunnel left by SCP-3676, currently deemed missing in action. Follow-up action taken. Containment established as Foundation priority, on the grounds that an alternate reality does not constitute part of the state of Oregon, regardless of its geographical status. Containment Chamber 3676 Alpha built with 4th Scranton equalizers to prevent multi-universal shifts. Date, 2907-2015. Nature of event. 
It is noted that during casual discussion that three members of SCP-3676's containment team believed U.S. President William Henry Harrison died of an infected wound after 43 days in office rather than pneumonia after 31, as is established history. No other major discrepancies in recollections of historical events were noted. Follow-up action taken. Due to an inability to ascertain the person's point of origin, and the lack of any debilitating psychological effects caused by the incident, the decision was made to assign the staff the positions of their counterparts, under the assumption that the alternate foundation will do the same for our original staff. Date 05-12-2015 Nature of Event Power failure results in a containment breach of SCP-3676 and a number of other anomalous entities. The entity escapes through an adjacent universe in which the chamber was not constructed and re-manifests 13 kilometers northeast alongside large amounts of rubble and several irradiated corpses. Follow-up action taken. Solution staff tranquilize the entity at the scene and begin to draft plans for long-term containment. Foundation staff object, but WWS liaison Madison enacts home ground priority provided the entity does not shift universes again. Long-term sedation is enacted and remains functional until 2803-2016. Date 2803-2016 Nature of Event Sedation chemicals are spontaneously removed from SCP-3676's bloodstream, presumably ejected into a branch universe of unknown nature, and the entity regains consciousness, demanifesting almost immediately. Mobile Task Force Upsilon Pioro attempt to subdue it upon its re-manifestation, but are repeatedly dragged by SCP-3676 into alternate universes alongside near-identical copies of themselves. The entity escapes in the ensuing confusion. Follow-up action taken. The entity remains uncontained for approximately six weeks, during which time multiple geological disturbances are noted in and around the area. Date. 0204 2016 Nature of event A large statue of unknown origin is uncovered 40 kilometers from the border of Boring, presumably manifesting as the result of SCP-3676's activities. The object appears to be a representation of SCP-3676 itself and is inscribed with the names of several hundred people, as well as what appears to be a cause of death. Battle features prominently, as do elsewhere, and the greater good. Preliminary analysis places its date of creation at no more than five years previously. Follow-up action taken. Item taken into storage. Further action deemed unnecessary. Date 1105, 2016. Nature of event. SCP-3676 re-manifests in containment chamber 3676 Alpha. Numerous crossbow bolts are found embedded in the entity's back and it appears severely weakened from extensive blood loss. Follow-up action taken. Plans are made to transport the entity away from NX-17, but WWS Liaison Madison objects on the grounds of preserving natural para-biodiversity, as well as supporting the group's development of esoteric containment methods. Date 1506, 2016 Nature of Event SCP-3676 demanifests from its chamber shortly after containment rights are transferred to Wilson's Wildlife Solutions. Attempts to pinpoint its location in U-Space fail due to SCP-3676's removal and partial consumption of the relevant equipment. Follow-up action taken. Pending. See below. Following the event on 1506-2016, the decision was made to contact Wilson's Wildlife Solutions directly rather than through a liaison, as is protocol. Timothy Wilson, founder and leader, reacted with surprise after being informed about the anomaly and reported that no such entity existed on their records. When questioned about Miss Kimberly Madison, Wilson responded that there was no such person on their payroll. A woman by that name had approached him for a position some years previously, but had been killed in a car accident shortly afterwards. Containment has since reverted to Foundation control, and the construction of Chamber 3676 Beta is ongoing. The location and origin of Person of Interest 7643, Kimberly Madison Alternate, 
and the WWS research team responsible for initial categorization are currently unknown. Interesting. Anyway, uh, I think that about does it for today. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Big Sip, Tomothy, Zargaron, The Morrigan, James Saba, Vibing Shockwave, Killer Hunter Joe, Fire of Prime, Indy vs. The World, Spencer Arduin, Rubbish Bin 69, Broken Sketch, Dr. Wolf 13, Cupster, Spencer J. Tilp, Zazapan, Lamke, Signar, Alatreon, Your Local Foundation Agent, Derivative, Lost Boy, Lyndon B. Johnson, and Oh Crap Guy. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.